Chicago, WLS, the Cook County State's attorney dropped embattled singer R. Kelly's sex abuse charges in Illinois Tuesday. During a status hearing in R. Kelly's Cook County cases Tuesday morning, members of the Cook County State's Attorney's Office asked a judge to dismiss the four sex abuse cases against him. On a cold night in February 2019, R. Kelly surrendered to Chicago police, answering to the first of an eventual tidal wave of charges. Nearly three years later, Fox said her office is no longer seeking indictments against R. Kelly in four pending sexual abuse cases. Fox announced the decision on Monday afternoon in light of Kelly's two federal convictions, including one in Chicago, and the decades-long prison sentences that come with him, saying the action was taken after consulting alleged victims. Kelly was indicted in 2019 on charges of aggravated criminal sexual abuse and assault involving four alleged female victims, three of whom were underage at the time of the alleged crimes between 1998 and 2010. See also, lawyers move to dismiss sex abuse charges against R. Kelly in Chicago We do have a survivor who is disappointed that she would not have her day in court. Some of our survivors, some of those who have been named in our petitions, have had justice in courtrooms that are not here, Fox said. The Cook County indictment came weeks after the release of the bombshell docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, and were the first charges brought against the singer since his 2008 acquittal on child pornography charges. Due to the extensive sentences that these convictions hold, our office has decided. Mr. Kelly is looking at significant jail time. We believe that justice and accountability has been served. But, the Cook County cases faced delays because of the pandemic, and ultimately took a backseat to two federal trials that ended in conviction. One in New York was on racketeering and sex trafficking charges, for which he received a sentence of 30 years, and another was in Chicago last fall. It could add decades to his sentence. ABC7 Chicago legal analyst Gil Soffer weighed in on the announcement. It does make sense to say, Hess serving a 30-year term. Hess about to serve another one, Soffer said. Not surprising that Kim Fox, or any other prosecutor, would say, justice has been done. It's the right thing to happen.